176 pounds still? Why am I still the same weight? channel my name is selena for those that are new for those that are returning what's up what's good what's popping before we get started don't forget to like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on because you guys know i come with a video every single day why would you want to miss it okay friends today is way in day i literally just got back from the airport like my flight landed probably I don't even, I'm, let me look at my wrist like there was a watch there. Like two hours ago, to be honest. So I was like, I need to get home and weigh myself and uh, do this weigh-in video for my friend. So here I am, yes. We're gonna do our weigh-in today. And then you guys know we're gonna talk about everything. So let's go ahead and weigh in. Let's do this real quick. Weigh in and then see, see what's going on. Let's go. And 76 pounds still why am I still the same weight okay I promise you guys let, let's just start over so 300 pounds we started off August 1st of 2021 and then you guys know August 19th of 2021 I had weight loss surgery in Tijuana Mexico I did lose 18 pounds so I had surgery at 282 pounds I then lost 135 pounds in a year my lowest was 160 163 and I was maintaining um, between 165 and 170 for six on eight months or so you guys know I tore my ACL gained 20 pounds at this point I've lost 10 of the 20 pounds that I gained from tearing during me you know tearing my ACL and having surgery on my ACL so and what do we want to do we want to get back to 165 but it seems like my body is like in 176 and I'm going to fight it get it together because I've been being consistent you guys I have been being very consistent when it comes to my working out when it comes to what I'm eating my drinking water my protein shakes why are we still 176 don't mind Linux I don't know I'm just kidding I, I mean not kidding I really don't know why we're still 176 but the only thing I can literally do is just be consistent with with this um I feel as if like it's going to be a little bit harder for me to lose these last like 10 pounds because I say this all the time my body honestly likes be being 176 177 like that's like my golden like my body is comfortable with that so I feel as if at this point what's happening is it's like okay we're comfortable you're doing you know the same thing every day I'm still gonna have to be consistent with what I'm eating as far as making sure that it's protein focused um, getting my water in but I think I'm gonna have to switch up some things so I have been going to the gym you guys will see and I I've been pretty much kind of doing the same exercises but I did start trying to switch it up a little bit because I know my body gets really used to um, workouts quickly so I know with personally myself like I can't unless it's running which is crazy because my body really really loves running like me running um and in physical therapy I did he does have me jogging a little bit more which I'm happy about um it's just like a lot of pressure on my knee I think I'm going to actually get like a knee sleeve my friend was telling me about that to help with the pressure on my knee when I'm jogging because it's like an uncomfortable pressure and it's just I can't run for I can't jog for long um but I think I'm gonna get this get a sleeve on my knee um and see if that kind of helps me when I'm running uh because I did what did I do I can do like speed 4.0 I can do that for a little a little bit um as far as like anywhere between like running that consistently for a minute to like three minutes um I I did like actually jog pretty fast 6.0 speed for 30 seconds and it didn't and it was it was a lot of pressure on my knee but it it's like it gets better each day if that makes sense so I do try to do that in the gym um, 
like run a little bit because I know like my body is going to once I can run a mile you guys even a half a mile like once I can do that I know my body is going to react positively toward uh to that because it's just like a new exercise for my body I've been doing the elliptical boxing um and the stairmaster but I feel like running is going to get me out of this 176 um also I'm supposed to start my period uh I think this week to be honest honestly I'm, I'm talking about honestly I believe I'm supposed to start my period yeah in a few days so I could be retaining some water as well but I mean I don't think so I don't know <laughs> I don't think I am I told you guys like I don't the only thing I can do is just continue like I said to do what I've been doing um I think switching up my routine is going to help and I'm trying to think like as far as my eating goes um I might need to possibly eat a little bit more because the thing is I don't have an appetite all the time I really I like truly do not have an appetite um especially I told you guys when I'm about to start my period like the week before it's like a hit and miss I'll either crave a lot of things or I won't have an appetite and I just happen to not really have an appetite I actually didn't really have an appetite throughout this you know this past week even two weeks before my period so it's a, it's it's good and it's bad but I do need to remember to eat I also you guys will see in the blog I wanted to start eating apples um, because uh, what you call it I feel like I have a sugar craving sometimes like I have I you guys know I don't deprive myself of foods but my body doesn't like sugar like at all um, and that could be the reason as well I have cut out like juice um, but I'm realizing I did just drink alcohol yesterday too when I was in Michigan um, I think I had I think I might have had one glass of wine sometime this week I can't remember what day it was but cutting out alcohol I'm gonna try like to cut out alcohol and cut out like any sugary juices or anything like I said I I'm trying to think if I was drinking any sugary juices before yesterday because yesterday like I said I went to Michigan I drank some juice and things like that so um I mean in one day that's not going to really do anything if I was like consistently doing it but uh, yeah let's be real let's be honest Selena I, I sugar is like my biggest thing and it's just crazy um because the other day I was talking to somebody and I was like um I never actually when I first had surgery I didn't crave sugar until I reintroduced sugar into my diet and I kind of wish I had not because it's a very like hard like sugar addiction is real we know that like most of us have a sugar addiction most of us honestly try to stay away from sugar because of that um, and I'm aware of that as well um, so me and then also with like alcohol juice those are empty calories like if you think about it just think of your favorite juice your favorite soda favorite you know drink whatever even think about your favorite alcohol beverage some of those most a lot of those beverages like if you do a mixed drink have like 200 300 calories in it it's full with sugar your body when you eat like process like sugar it doesn't do anything other than just I mean it gives you a quick energy but it just turns instantly into fat sugar does so it's just like it's not really helping me it's not it's probably hindering me more than anything um so i'm gonna try my hardest to not drink alcohol i listen i'm an adult no i'm just kidding i'm going to cut out alcohol i actually have been doing pretty good with cutting out alcohol as far as like i'm not drinking like wine like on a tuesday or anything i mean you know no I'm not but I did yesterday like I said I did we was turning up if he was on my Instagram you know but <laughs> I haven't been like going out and going like even if I go out to eat or something like that I haven't been like getting a glass of wine or I haven't been getting a mixed drink or anything because I know that that has to do with a lot of like uh, weight gain and then like just not 
losing any weight but i have been doing really good like i said so i don't know y'all that 176 is eating me up let me tell you I'm, I'm a little frustrated if you guys can't tell i'm not frustrated it's just like dang i'm getting annoyed but i have to go back to the drawing board and see you know see what's going on let's let's you know cross our t's and dot our i's because something ain't something ain't working and we gotta figure it out but like i said this week i am going to try to switch up i really am going to try to run um if i'm not in pain obviously run at least twice this week and see how i feel see if that kind of shakes up some stuff with my weight loss um and then i also am going to i want to start tracking my food um yeah just start tracking my food i don't track my food i want to see what i'm actually eating because um like i said previously i don't i might not be eating enough food for my body to actually trust itself and be like okay yeah we don't have to go into like the starvation mode we're going to eat here in a little bit so i want to track my food um that's going to be very important especially the first couple of days or yeah first couple of days in the week um, but I'm going to try to do it for the whole entire week just so I can see. And then next week, you know, to keep on being consistent with tracking. Um, I told you guys too, I don't weigh my food anymore. Um, but I think I want to start doing that too, just so I can get an idea of how... Bless you, Lennox. Not you just sneeze. Cover your mouth next time. That's nasty. <laughs> Anyways, I want to start um, tracking my... I mean, weighing my food so I can see how much I'm eating as well. Um, I normally, you guys know, I eat like a well-balanced diet. I don't cut out carbs or anything. Um, but maybe I have to. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm eating too many carbs. We'll see. I'm going to play around this week with my food and see... Not with my food. I Well, I am going to play around with my food. I'm going to maybe see if, okay, let's be protein heavy for three days straight and then do, you know moderate carbs let me know what you guys normally do i know some of you guys do like cut out carbs completely some of you guys are more so like okay i'm gonna eat moderate carbs high protein da, 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 and you're still doing good um but let me know because i feel like i just be living my life and um i'm gonna eat carbs and protein but maybe i need to eat a little bit more protein let's try that out this week my water intake has been amazing i've been thirsty i've been hydrating no let's get it no i have been i've been doing really good with my water um so i'm gonna stay consistent with that and you guys know we have a bunch of protein shakes so i'm definitely going to um at least have a protein shake a day maybe me having two protein shakes might be a little bit better because those fair life protein shakes are 30 grams of protein so if i have two that's 60 grams of protein actually let's do that you guys to be honest when i film these videos like this i literally am sitting here just talking to you guys coming up with a plan for my next week so that's why you guys are hearing me like should we do that i think we're going to i think we're going to try to do two protein shakes a day um so i can make sure i get my protein in because like i said i don't think i'm eating enough and i think i need to switch up my um workout routine um and when i say eating enough i'm really emphasizing on eating enough protein i don't think i'm eating enough protein um so let's try that we're gonna try to eat you know let's do two protein shakes and then let's run in the gym that's that's my goal run in the gym twice this week yeah that's my goal for this week and then continue with my uh water intake because like i said i've been doing pretty good my clothes still fit in the same um yeah still feeling fit in the same how they've been fitting um this past ever since i lost the 10 pounds um since we got to our highest of our regain um from the beginning of the year and then like like i said i can tell when my when i'm like gaining a little bit weight because my face is like the first thing to get a little bit chunkier um but i feel like my face is still slimmer um so yeah i feel good i feel better when i'm at like this weight yes our goal is still by my birthday to get to 165 i'm putting a number on it you guys know that um so i am going to continue to be you know consistent in trying new things because baby we gotta work okay we're we're gonna get this no matter what at all costs 
No, I was kidding. But seriously, 165 by my birthday, which is May 4th. So we're about, what, a month away? Wait, what is the date today? Yeah, a little less than a month away because it's April 7th and my birthday is May 4th. We'll see. But yeah, friends, so that's my weigh-in for today. Little update. Let me know how you guys did this week. What y'all think? Like, we got this. We can do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little weigh-in video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on because you guys know I come with a video with every single day. Why would you want to miss it? Until next time, bye, friends.